tying a parachute. So we'll start off with my white thread here, UTC 70 or 8 aught, something like that. I'm going to leave a long tag end hanging off the back. I'm going to use that to split my tails. This fly is called the Juju Parachute. It's a knockoff of the Juju fly. <laughs> Everything's a knockoff. Yeah. Isn't it? I use my micro fibets for the tails. I'm going to just take a couple wraps to hold them in place. Then I'm going to split those tails with my thread. I'm going to make that nice smooth body. Ooh, need scissors. Gotcha. <laughs> and a whip finisher. <laughs> Start with scissors. Work nicely. Hair scissors. <laughs> Is that an 18? Yeah, 18. Then I'm going to use super hair for the body. Use one strand of black two to three strands of chartreuse. And for a fly this time of the year, I'd actually probably tie this in like a 20 or 22, but for demonstration purposes, we'll tie on this 18. I'm gonna tie in those that clump of super hair at the front, wrap back. Just right before, I'm gonna leave one wrap short right before I get to the butt. Then wrap forward, trying to keep everything smooth. I forgot that other bobbin too, I think. Oh, never mind. It's right there. <laughs> then I'm going to make one loose wrap over the, the butt of the fly. I'm going to use my fingernail to kind of push all those fibers back into place. And then just continue forward. Never get it perfect. You wrap enough of them and you will. All the tails, I just started tying them together because I was like, oh. And you can do that too. You can just tie in a clump if you want. Waste too much time on this. Then I'm going to get rid of the uh, white thread and just tie in some brown, just wrap over everything. So I said you were experimenting with it on Wednesday. You're just tying it. It's a parachute, it's a yeah. Weird parachute. Then I'm going to use black polyfoam yarn or poly yarn to make a post. And I cut out oh, a strand of maybe 40 of them or so. And I tie it in right in the middle of everything. So I have an equal amount sticking out on both ends. And that way I can just raise everything. Kind of horizontally wrap it to get them all together. And I build up a little bit of a, a base. That's going to give me something to wrap the hackles on. And then once I do that, you pick your, your hackle, and I just use Grizzly Hackle. I kind of size it up. And I strip out some of the hackles off the base so you have a bit of the stem showing. When I tie this in, I start to tie it in kind of on the, on the side towards me. And then I'll lift the feather and tie it around the post. Once you get that first wrap, you can kind of just get it going. And after I do that, I just dub the, the head. And I just use brown, super fine dubbing. Lick it a little bit to get it tight. <laughs> and then what I try to do is just build up kind of a, a ball 
around the head. And once I do that, I'm actually going to take the whole hook, invert it, and get my thread to sit right there on the, let's move the camera here. There we go. Then I'm going to take my hackle and just wrap it right along the base. Once I do three, four turns, I'm just going to take my thread, capture that hackle, and I'm tying on the actual the, the post, not the not the hook. Hmm. And then trim out your your hackle. And then I get my whip finisher, and I'm going to also whip finish. Sometimes it's actually easier on to the trim. trim that. Yeah, I'm going to whip finish on the post too. Yeah, and you're still going to catch a few. But the nice thing is when you do it this way, you don't catch the fibers up by the eye. You kind of catch them on the side. So all you do is just go on the side and just clip them out. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'll fix it here. That's it. Hmm. Is there any reason for you to use black? 